Welcome to the introduction to referee actions in Olympic style boxing. In Olympic style boxing, the referee plays a critical role. Referee duties include the following. To make the health of boxers the primary concern throughout the bout. To see that rules and fair play are strictly observed. To maintain control of the contest in all its stages. And prevent a weak boxer from receiving undue and unnecessary punishment. To disqualify a boxer for committing a serious foul with or without previous warning to interpret rules insofar as they are applicable or relevant to the bout, or to decide to take action on any circumstances of the bout which is not covered by the rules. The referee uses four words of command. Stop when calling for a temporary stop to the action. In this case, boxers must stop boxing. Box when ordering boxers to resume boxing. Break when breaking a clinch. And in this case, boxers must step back before continuing to box and time, when the referee needs to interrupt the action for a longer period. In this case, the timekeeper stops the clock. The referee checks boxers when they enter the ring, making sure that they are wearing required safety equipment, that they're properly dressed, and that the boxers are not wearing objects except for the apparel specified in the rules. Any better against Sotomayor Colazzo. Officials miss one. After checking the boxers, the referee will call them to the center of the ring for pre-bout instructions. Center ring instructions typically cover the following. Careful with the heads, establish waistlines, and a reminder of some of the rules. The referee will then instruct the boxers to touch gloves, and boxers will return to their corners for the start of the bout. Okay, let's make it through to this quarter final stage. The referee here from Inter. <laughs> During the bout, the referee will move around the ring, positioning him or herself equal distance between the boxers. The referee may use gauze to wipe a boxer's bloody nose, and in case of injury, the referee may take a boxer to be inspected by the ringside doctor. The referee may speak to and touch the boxers, indicate by sign, gesture, or verbal command any infringement of the rules, and the referee may issue cautions, warnings, or disqualify a boxer who commits fouls. The referee will watch that boxers only connect on the legal target area of their opponent, as specified in the rules. Examples of fouls include hitting below the belt, holding, tripping, kicking, hits with the head, shoulder, forearm, elbow, pressing with the arm or elbow in the opponent's face, pressing the head of the opponent over the ropes, slapping or hitting with open glove the inside of the glove, wrist, or side of the hand, hits landing on the back of the opponent, such as the neck, head, and back, pivot blows or spinning backhands, an attack while making unfair use of the ropes, lying on or wrestling with the opponent, an attack on an opponent who is down, holding and hitting, holding or locking on the opponent's arm or head, ducking below the belt of the opponent, passive defense by doubling over, intentionally falling, running, or turning the back to avoid a blow, speaking, not stepping back when ordered to break, attempting to strike an opponent after the referee has ordered break, assaulting or behaving in an aggressive manner toward the referee at any time, and spitting out the mouth guard intentionally. Here are a few illustrations of fouls and accompanying referee signals, including slapping, hitting with the forearm, and hitting with the elbow, pushing and wrestling, holding, holding the arm, holding and hitting, ducking too low, low head or head butting, hitting on the back of the body, hitting on the back of the head or neck, hitting below the belt, hitting an opponent who is down. The referee distinguishes between infighting, clinching, and holding. Infighting means the boxers are boxing in close range and at least one of the boxers has two free hands. Clenching occurs when one or both boxers lead and, for a moment, their arms become locked together. A clinch is not a foul. A holding foul occurs when a boxer does not make an attempt to disengage from the clinch. When boxers are in close range, the referee will watch for harm fouls, such as lacing of the opponent, elbowing the opponent, lowering the head under the opponent's chin, or punches to the top or back of the head or neck. 
Holding is a foul. However, the referee will give the boxers an opportunity to work free before issuing a caution or warning. The referee may issue a soft caution by talking to the boxers, such as red, no holding. If the boxers continue to hold, the referee will give a few seconds and then command break. If the boxer or boxers continue to hold, the referee will command stop and caution the boxer for not stepping back on the command break. The referee may also issue a caution for holding. If boxers clinch or hold awkwardly, so one boxer is possibly in a vulnerable position, the referee will immediately command stop, separate the boxers, and may issue a caution or warning. The referee may give cautions or warnings for fouls, and the number of cautions given before a warning is issued will be at the sole discretion of the referee. She really is starting to frustrate Abdulava here. Almost losing her cool and calm here. Abdulava coming diving in, and I'm afraid with that approach, she's just going to walk right on to the very strong left uh, hook of Abdulava and a big right hand from the southpaw in red. And another good right hand from the Russian. Finally, Abdulava gets through the defence. Don't get me wrong, she's got a big left punch as well. Keep the head up. Raise the reputation of the Panamanian Boxing Federation by an awful long way at these World Championships. And uh, Bilon, once again, Abdulava for lowering that head just a little too low. Bilon seems oblivious to it all. With points from all three judges. Of course. The 10 point must scoring system in Aiva open boxing events. Oh, and that could be a turning point. Milan having a point deducted. Strong punches in the last 20 seconds of this third round. Deliver again with the head very, very low. Spoil the technique and rhythm. There you can see, well, Gallo had won the Russian, so both boxers losing a point in that. Examples of minor fouls include low head away from the opponent, minor holding, unintentional pushing of an opponent, or low blows with no force behind the punch. A boxer who spits out the mouth guard intentionally without receiving a punch will receive an automatic warning. The referee will give the mouth guard to the boxer's corner so it can be rinsed and given back to the boxer. Examples of major harm fouls include headbutting, leading with the head, holding, slapping, pushing or pulling, passive defense, simulation or faking, punches to the back of the head, or low blows with force. In the case of the low blow, the referee will use the following procedure. If the blow was actually not a low blow, the referee will give an eight count to the complainer and then give the command to box. If the punch was a low blow and the foul was intentional or flagrant, then the referee will disqualify the offender. If the punch was low, but was not intentional or flagrant, then the referee will give an eight count. And if the boxer can continue, then the referee will warn the offender and give the command to box. If the boxer is unable to continue after the eight count, the boxer will have up to a minute 30 seconds to recover. If the boxer is still unable to continue, the offender will win. If after the minute and 30 seconds, the boxer is able to continue, then the referee will warn the offender and give the command to box. Types of flagrant harm fouls include intentional headbutt, intentional low blow, intentional use of the elbow, intentional punch after the bell, and intentional hit to the opponent on the back of the body or head. Could be in danger,
see the experience as well he let off his combination then happy to sort of grab both sides again happy to let Lacruz take center ring stepping in firing the shots off and away as Valentino stepping into Lacruz Lacruz With standing eight counts, the referee will count all the way to eight. Compulsory count limits differ for each division. An eight count due to an illegal blow does not count toward the compulsory count limit. A coach may throw in the towel to retire their boxer except during a referee's count. And eight counts will not count against a boxer's score. A boxer is considered to be knocked down if the boxer touches the floor as the result of a blow, the boxer hangs on the ropes as the result of a blow, the boxer is outside or partially outside the ropes as the result of a blow, or the boxer is in a semi-conscious state after a blow and in the opinion of the referee cannot safely continue the bout. If a boxer is knocked down, the opponent must go to the farthest neutral corner and remain there until instructed otherwise. If the opponent doesn't obey, the referee will suspend the count until they comply with the command. If a boxer's gloves touch the canvas, the referee will wipe the boxer's gloves to remove debris. If the referee counts to 10, the bout ends by knockout. The referee may stop the count at any time if he or she believes the boxer is in need of immediate medical attention. When the referee calls the ringside doctor to the ring to examine a boxer, only the referee and ringside doctor may be present in the ring or on the apron. However, the ringside doctor may request someone to help him or her. If a boxer falls out of the ring due to a correct blow, the boxer has a maximum of 30 seconds to come back into the ring without anyone's help. At the conclusion of each round, the referee will ensure that the boxers go back to their corners. In the manual scoring system, the referee will collect the judges' scorecards and deliver them to the supervisor. The referee will then stay in the neutral corner and observe the boxers in seconds. At the conclusion of the bout, boxers will go to the center of the ring. The referee may inspect the boxers' bandages, and at the time of the announcement, the referee will grasp the wrist of each boxer and raise the hand of the winner. For more information, please visit usaboxing.org.